everyone. Uh, my name's Lauren Fitch. I'm one of the kindergarten teachers here. Um, and we're so happy to have all of you here um, to celebrate these 14, almost 14 uh, veterans today. Um, along with me is Amy Frederick, one of the other kindergarten teachers. And dispersed amongst us is Mrs. McGuire, Mrs. Hoyt, Miss Park. Who else is over there? Um, Mrs. Waka, Mrs. Colley, and Ms. Trudeau. Get everyone. Um, 18 years ago, uh, Mrs. Frederick and I started, started this program so that our students would have a better understanding of what Veterans Day is all about. Who is a veteran? Why are they important for our country? Um, and all the kindergartners here have been um, learning patriotic songs, creating poems to honor these 14 veterans here today. So before we begin, a couple of things we want to announce. We encourage you to take pictures during the program. Uh, you'll have a little bit of time at the end to take a pic picture with your veteran if you have a family <laughs> member here. Um, and at that point, students will be returning to their classrooms. All right. Before we begin, we're gonna have a moment of silence to honor the men and women who are currently serving in the armed forces who could not be here today. And now I'm going to invite all of the kindergartners to stand up right where they are. And they're going to sing on Veterans Day. And we'll count to three for our start. One, two, three. On Veterans Day. Boys and girls, you can stay standing. We're gonna invite all, uh, all of our audience to stand with us to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Our flag is on the stage. I pledge allegiance. And now I would like to um, begin to introduce each of our honored guests. As I introduce each veteran, they will be presented with a special thank you medal and flowers from the kindergartner that brought them here today. Please welcome Mr. Jim Prizio. Mr. Prizio served five years in the United served five years in the United States Air Force. His grandson Luca will be presenting him with a special medal and flowers this morning. Please welcome Mr. Brandon Moyer. Mr. Moyer served nine years in the Air Force. His son Jack will be presenting his dad with his medal and flowers this morning. We'd like to invite Theo Marx and Reese Monty from Mrs. McGuire's class to come up and read their poem, America.
amazing. Men and women. Everyone is a hero. Real hero. Incredible. Incredible. Covered by. Aw. And we'll also ask Jackson Centrella and Raylan Miles from Miss Hoyt's class. Liberty means freedom. It's important to say thank you to our veterans. Everybody cheer for our flag. Everybody cheer for our flag. Sorry, my fault. Brave men and women. Brave men and women take. Brave men and women help our country. Thank you, veterans. You are our heroes. Sorry, I messed that one up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and now Mrs. Hoyt and Mrs. McGuire's class are going to stand to sing, This Land is Your Land. Now I'd like to introduce some more of our honored guests. Please welcome Mr. Gerald Gillen. Mr. Gillen served six years in the United States Navy and Coast Guard. He served during the, oh no, I read the wrong one. His great niece, Le Leilani Bishop, will be presenting her great uncle with his medal and flowers. Our next veteran we would like to honor this morning is James Benson. Mr. Benson served four years in the United States Marine Corps. His granddaughter, Skylar Campbell, will be presenting him with his medal and flowers. Please welcome Mr. Stephen Ferris. Mr. Ferris served 16 years in the United States Marine Corps. His granddaughter, Raylan Miles, will be presenting him with his medal and flowers this morning. All 
All right, Juliet Hernan and Maddox Ortiz, come on up. They protect our flag. Help people. Air Force are awesome. They jump out of planes. Nice people. Kind men and women. Save us. And Valentina Miranda and Ellie Armstrong from Mrs. Walkup's class. Ath is for flag. I raise it. Excellent. Essential. D, deserve respect. D, despair respect. Oh, my heroes. And moms and dads. All right, I'm going to invite my class and Mrs. Walkup's class to stand up with your flag. We will sing three cheers for the red, white, and blue. Three, I'd like to introduce Mr. Derek Hamadi. Mr. Hamadi served three years in the United States Army. His daughter Maeve will be presenting her dad with his special medal and flowers this afternoon. Please welcome Mr. Child Charles Johnson. Mr. Johnson served three years in the United States Army. His grandson, Nolan, will be presenting him with his flowers this morning. And just in the nick of time, welcome Mr. Russ Callahan. Mr. Callahan served three years in the United States Army. His grandson, Ryan, will be presenting him with his flowers and medal today. Can we invite Violet Eberly and Cole Kenny from Ms. Trudeau's class to read their poem, Heroes? H helped keep us safe. Excellent fighters. Really special. Outstanding protectors. Each bad children is boy. And super strong and smart. All right, and Nolan Gianni and Abigail D'Angelo. Come on. Reese Barton. Come sorry. Come on up. You're gonna read your poem, Brave. B. 
big strong. Spect is what we have for you. America's hero. A toy Every day we thank you. Hey, and we're going to invite Miss Trudeau's class and Mrs. Colley's class to stand and sing their song, America to Me. Welcome, Mr. Chris Sanderson. Mr. Sanderson served seven years in the United States Air Force. His daughter, Jocelyn, will be presenting her dad with his medal and flowers this afternoon. Please welcome Mr. Michael Powers. Mr. Powers served four years in the United States Navy. His grandson, Jackson Hood, will be presenting him with his medal and flowers. Please welcome Mr. Juan Palma. Mr. Palma served 19 years in the United States Army. His nephew will be presenting him with his medal and flowers. All right, would Cody Minoy and Liliana Morin from Ms. Fedrick's class come on up to read your poem, Veteran. Everybody's hero. T is for terrific. E is for excellent at saving. R is for really awesome. A is for always ready. N is for nice uniform. And Brenna Dale from Miss Park's class. Come on up to read your poem, Patriot. P, protect the USA. P, protect the USA. 
A always brave. T they sacrifice. T they sacrifice. R red, white, and blue. R red, white, and blue. I in unity. I in unity. O oh, oh, so loyal. O oh, so loyal. To keep us safe. Keep us safe. Okay. And we'll invite Mrs. Frederick and Miss Park's classes to stand up. I'm going to sing You're a Grand Old Flag. Please welcome Mr. Bill Haley. Mr. Haley served six years in, in, I actually have a typo, in the military. His granddaughter Haley Leonard will be presenting him with his medal and flowers this afternoon. I apologize. Please welcome Mr. Joe Minoy. Mr. Minoy served 10 years in the United States Army. His son, Cody, will be presenting him with his medal and flowers. And our lovely to be last, please welcome Mr. Patrick Connolly. Mr. Connolly served four years and was a corporal in the United States Marines, serving in the Persian Gulf. His niece, Lauren Connolly, will be presenting her uncle with his medal this afternoon. I just want to say a little thank you to our veterans today for joining us so that we can honor you. The students have been reading books and learning a great deal about veterans and the holiday that we'll celebrate tomorrow. But you have to be here, having you be here makes it really real for young students. Um, honoring you makes a somewhat abstract concept of patriotism and service to our country real for them. Knowing that veterans are people in their own family who have done amazing things to protect our freedom and keep us safe makes the whole learning experience just that much more meaningful for them. I do hope the memory of this day sticks with them as they grow up and develop their own feelings of patriotism and appreciation for those of you who protect our country. Thank you very much. I'd like to call up Mrs. Thompson to say a few words. I just want to say thank you to all of you for coming, especially our honored guests, our families, our kindergarten students and teachers for putting together this wonderful program. I also want to mention if you're interested, the Veterans Day Parade is held in Whitman tomorrow at 10 a.m. And I would like to ask all the adults to please stay seated or stay in your uh, spots while our kindergarten classes return to their classroom. And the families of veterans are welcome to stay after to take photos with your veteran. Thank you very much and have a great weekend.